It's October 31st, 2021. Um, I'm in this, it's a pagan holiday, which is like uh, where they do peasants with pageantry for pagan purpose. Um, in the local Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. Um, <clears throat> Anthony, while well, he had the Dark King, the skeleton with the crown and the fur and the cape, he wore that to school um, the other day on Thursday. But for the actual, per like the promenade, for the walking on the boulevard, Bell Boulevard, um, today, he wanted to wear his Air Force, his, uh, he's got Air Force Special Strike patch, uh, with Air Force and an eagle and the American flag, the unity flag, um, and it was a green jumpsuit that he got at the Intrepid when we went a few weeks back, um, a few months back. Um, on a special trip into the city with Tia Frio 1975. Um, and so um, he wanted to wear that today. It looks, I want to say, I don't know, is it considered a, like a mechanics jumpsuit? Is it a smock? Is I mean, it's not a, it's not a frock. Uh, maybe it is in a different, whatever. But um, he wore that. I, I took the hat, so this way we were an ensemble together. I had the symbol that was on his uniform. It said Ace somewhere on his um, patchwork. So we were walking up uh, the avenue to the boulevard, and um, all of a sudden, across the street, I see George uh, from NYPD the playground area where Anthony plays, um, and I spot him, but I don't see any of the other mothers, fathers, or children. I only see him, and I'm leaving it to my son to look across the street to see what he wants to do, and then all of a sudden he spots whoever he spotted, and then we saw, I think, Sophia and Costa, whatever, so um, then all of a sudden he wants to cross the street and he wants to go with his friends from the park so um and some are from school so i uh, we cross the street um and it's just i know the display of this one particular group is incredibly important today we also went to the nypd precinct twice once i went just with anthony and his um to see i thought it was melinda but it's Medea, I believe. She's the crossing guard that then got a promotion and moved over. Um, Anthony wanted to see her, but she was she was not at where she was normally. Um, but we... Uh, so uh, the girl at the front was able to find her. The officer at the front was able to find her, which was really nice. Um, and um, then... Once we finished the boulevard, the kids went back, and then there was a man, again, I don't know if lieutenants wear the white shirt, or if that is a chief or a captain, I apologize, I just, I'm not fluent with the uniform yet, but I know he was wearing a white shirt, so he was of most importance out of the group, I, th I believe, for order of their inner league. And I did, he was checking out the uh, uniforms. There was one, Gabriel was wearing a suit, a, uh, like a two-piece suit with suspenders and a collared shirt. And he had a pr pretend, uh, he was wearing a shield, um, not a tin star. He was wearing a shield um, and he was wearing some form of a, a pretend walkie-talkie. Um, so, everybody, I would have thought detective, everybody was calling him FBI, um, which I thought was pretty interesting, um, and they showed him utmost respect in his, his hair was perfectly combed over and 
Um, he looked really sharp with his sunglasses on. Um, Anthony, again, uh, I said to the man in the white shirt, I leaned over and I said, you know, my son Anthony, the one over there in the Air Force thing, I said, he is a Roman numeral three, like your precinct. And so, um, he just, you know, acknowledged by nodding quietly, and then that was it, we all went outside, it was a really nice day. Um, I did, though, however, speak with George, I said, I asked the George, because we st stood in front of the Colombian, the chicken, the polo, uh, Colombian restaurant, that I had made a note of the other day, and the colors, de couleur, on the wall, um, looks like four flags, but I could not confirm the Colombian flag. I did not know. I confirmed there was... I've seen in a different town, they um, said something about Venezuelan. I know Ecuador it has a, a mark on theirs. And then there's Colombia. But that I think there's a discrepancy there in flagging. But Romania from the other side of the water, uh, they also share that, so there's the four, so that's where the Rome and the Roman and the Roma and the mania come from. Um, along with, um, when we walked in as a group to the 111th precinct, which is Roman numeral three precinct in NYPD's entourage of law groups, um, um, the woman, the crossing guard, um, who knows Anthony and all of the children, she, we did, they took a picture with her. Uh, they asked if it was okay, uh, from the gentleman in the white shirt. Um, so th he said that it was, so we took the photo. Um, but now, um, they said something about Jay. Uh, that she was in charge of something called J, which I've, I know that there's sand lot with vitrification and with the glass, um, of like audio glass, but automotive glass. I mean, there's a long extensive education that I'm aware of, um, with how these products are and how they're made, but then there's some kind of finance campaign which I don't know about, and how it was distributed, and whose law group got what, and who's promoting what. But um, I do know that there was a, a costume. It was a maroon color, um, almost like biker leather looking, but it was maroon in color, which normally the bikers wear a different color. Um, and on the back it said warriors, which I thought was really interesting. I did not know the motif. I did ask. Um, he said it was in reference to some 1980s movie, which again, I had never seen. Um, I, I was not allowed to watch movies in the 1980s, very few. Um, and then, um, I was of course wearing my, this was underneath my gigantic black pea coat that it's the exact same, my Kate Hill version of Mr. Uh, English movie where the gentleman was wearing the thick white turtleneck uh, from the Scotland or Scotland Yard perhaps like like reference um, which is now hanging up there um, I was wearing that out on the boulevard today with everybody with my green and black umbrella which I was like as I waddled later on in the day I was thinking I was like I really feel more like Penguin from Gotham, but in, like, my face is burnt, I feel really, um, but again, I've never really seen that movie, so I don't know if that's a good reference or not, uh, because I don't know how they portrayed whatever that was in political satire, and if that would be a problem for me in this gigantic equation of irrational and rational sets of polymathematics and science in a 
equation and calibration that currently is still off. Um, at the end, Benjamin came to visit me today. He's not in costume. He's in his gorgeous self that I was like, I, I even said I announced at the park when he came. Uh, I said, I feel like a celebrity has come to visit me. Um, and I sat on the park bench and I spoke to him briefly. Alexander apparently is busy with his friends and his whatever. Um, so he was not allowed to come see me or he didn't come see me, whatever on that one. Um, but Benjamin is here. Daniel's away at college and, uh, Nucci, which is my Mayan calendar baby for the four flags of, um, I say Romania, but that's only cause it's close to, um, Albania for whatever is going on in safety net, um, for whatever, in whatever, 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 I don't really know, um, because I'm doing this on the fly by myself, like, um, so I'm star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza, um, I know there's something that over in my universe, it's come into my daily whatever, it's something about European candy being like snobbish candy, like really good chocolates, and they're made from different things. I really wouldn't know, because I have not really been able to spend any time in Europe. Um, however, the candy here, um, I was asking Benjamin, I mean, it's what we're used to, but I know it has a chemistry and chemical differential, and it's packaged with what looks like American or English branding, um, but the candy factory here produces the candy differently than elsewhere. Um, I know that that came up in some kind of big bone of contention. Um, I don't, I'm not qu really quite sure why. Um, I do know I've also seen some of the locals. I, I really haven't gone through his bag tonight. Um, but sometimes there's packaging of candy that is not an American brand. It's more Chinua or Chinese, um, or of Korean or some other Latinx branding. Um, while well, I'm Goddess Nix in NYX, um, I don't normally, I don't speak that in public. That's just more of my marking a file for Target Market Special Task Force. Um, then something that I wear proudly on the outside. It's, it's more of just like a sealed envelope area of like a sticky. So this way it has a special purpose in whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, keeping me safe, I suppose. Or marking my grave, my tombstone for my children. Could be either at this point. Um... So it's uh, Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. Um, and it's Halloween, which is um, 2021. Um, I did meet a Chico once in my life. He called himself that, he, and his last name was Torres. He was one of Anthony's friends, came through that route. Um, I don't know the significance of what that did in any kind of cascade or domino in Dominion of effects. I really, I don't. Um, these are just part of where I'm being held captive, uh, in captivity in a panic safe room kind of, sort of, and I'm really in a blind. I don't know how people are getting sent to my facial whatever in order to have these, like, one-time events, and then how things are getting reshuffled or re-treated or, or treated around my being held here or in whatever facility or home residence I've been held in the whole time as I've moved through New York 
like every couple of years I move to a new whatever. But not because I want to, it's just because I can't find work or the house was taken away or, I mean, it's, it has not been good or nice treatment. Um, I've gotten, it, it's just, it's been really difficult to stay honest and above board as best I could, um, and safe with children in a community that's held out. Oh, other interesting thing, there was a woman, a white woman who came from Long Island and she stopped us and... Now, Anthony's, I said I was doing candy inspections. I said, what an interesting way to get all of the people out with their children. They're at, they're begging for candy at the businesses, but it's a way for the parents to inspect who's running each business and is the business branding properly and carrying the right products. I mean, it is an interesting concept. But anyway, so the woman got out of the, uh, she came into the way and she was asking, not of me, but of others, about UNICEF, U-N-I-C-E-F, and if the children were collecting for any charities or any kind of whatever, and um, I didn't, I mean, I've heard of UNICEF. They gave a box out to Alex in Suffolk, which he did collect for. Um, there was something that he did with that, but... Um, in Queens, by the Mayan calendar baby. So Alexander the Great was given the opportunity to collect for UNICEF, which he did meagerly, but whatever, out in Suffolk. He participated. Same with, same thing with St. Baldrick's Foundation with shaving of the head. Um, but the in Queens, the school did not participate in UNICEF or anything. So the children are not aware that they should be or what this holiday is even for. At this point, to them, what it looks like, and to me, because nothing's been explained, is that it's just going out and collecting candy. Used to be in Suffolk, we would do it at houses uh, in the neighborhood. Here, because it's so urban, um, they go in business district to all the businesses uh, in big groups, and then that's it. Um, but this woman was saying that it's such a shame because where she is in Wontaw, which is Long Island, Suffolk County, oh, that's Nassau County, um, they have the children collect for shelters, for animals and other things in UNICEF, and then the children are encouraged to give back and to follow that collection into something like giving back to the community. And I said, and then she made an off- We'll say an off-color comment, because it was white woman to white woman, so I'm, it's a wash as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I appreciate, I mean, one of the mothers who was not whatever, like myself, she, she, was, she didn't get mad, she didn't get huffy, she just said very melatonin, like very, like, melo, not, not melodramatic, just very whatever. Um, like, uh, you know, can you believe, like, she, you know, said that about our children, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, well, again, I kind of collect this kind of, because it is interesting. I'll be right out. I was like, it is interesting to know that there, that there is another purpose. It's not just collecting the candy, although the kids want to have fun and they want to collect the candy and things, that there was another purpose or the possibility that there was another purpose for this holiday. Because if you're in a business of, like, say, NYPD, one of these large law groups, like FDNY, NYPD, Secret Service, whatever, you get national intelligence, and you're in an intelligent community. Then there's the rest of us, and we're not. And we rely on the people in the law groups that get this information to guide us in the right direction. It's a problem when the tide starts to turn and it's not disseminating out properly and you have people lost, literally lost on the streets. I heard one woman talking about some stipend or like they have to get their vaccines in order to get their money funded or whatever with DOE and I'm like, 
Like, I've never even heard that that was a possibility. I mean, like, for me, that wasn't even offered. Like, it's, I, it's pitiful and shameful how I've just been left out. They've been somehow collecting and thinking it was okay what they were doing. And I don't want to make them wrong for it, but I also have been hurt by it. So, and I'm still in a really bad situation, just trying not to get hurt and not to hurt anyone face to face because I have to scream over the crowd that's conducting themselves civilly to, or in public service or public servant, whatever they say, I have to get to somebody who knows I'm in the field, I'm in a hole, I have no access to the same level of food, shelter, safety, and clothing or program as this other group and things are being manipulated around and extorted, not to my benefit, but to my detriment, it feels like, since I was born. And it's steadily climbed and gotten worse as it's been politicized, written about, spoken about, fantasized about, and then driven in all the wrong directions. Um, they made one man's story and legend and blew it up in a, like a purposely driven campaign into the wrong direction, but it's choking off other things that were much needed and were a bigger security concern at a totally different level that was blind at some point in the game um, that, they, that, that the humans play. Um, for this point, I stay, I try to stay anonymous. I have to be labeled somehow, but again, it goes back to like mother of nature, father of time. That's it. I have two immaculate children for two extra special purposes. It's not to start riots or set alarms and things off, but it is of utmost necessity to address at some point. Um, star one nine seven eight star eight three seven eight Nicole Cataruza. Um, again, it's Halloween, um, twenty twenty one.